The Radiation Belt Storm Probes mission will see NASA send a pair of identical spacecraft to soar through the invisible bands of radiation that surround the Earth to find out more about their behavior. Before the probes could make that big leap into orbit, though, they had to make a less demanding but equally important jaunt to Florida. There, they were assembled and connected to the rocket that will loft them into orbit. Built by the Applied Physics Laboratory in coordination with NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland, the probes arrived in canisters inside a cargo aircraft at Kennedy Space Center in Florida in May. They were taken to Astrotech, where they could be processed inside a clean room for launch. Technicians bolted solar panels and accompanying instrument booms to the bodies of both probes during their work. Those attachments were tested, and the satellites were also spun on a special table to make sure they would be stable in space. Satisfied with the testing, technicians next stacked the dual spacecraft and placed a payload fairing around the pair. During the early part of launch, the fairing protects the spacecraft from aerodynamic heating and other stresses. While the two spacecraft moved through processing, technicians with United Launch Alliance readied an Atlas V to deliver the two RBSP satellites into space. The Centaur upper stage arrived first, coming to Cape Canaveral in May aboard the Delta Mariner ship and being taken to a processing hangar for launch preparations. The Atlas V first stage with its RD-180 engines attached came next, arriving at Port Canaveral in June and heading to a hangar for processing. In July, workers hoisted the first stage onto the launch platform at Space Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The Centaur, a rocket stage with a long history of successfully deploying probes to the farthest reaches of the solar system, was lifted and attached next. The RBSP spacecraft came next. Still tucked inside their payload fairing, a convoy rolled the probes through Kennedy and to the launch pad. As the sun rose, workers lifted the fairing onto the top of the rocket. Technicians locked the fairing into place, setting the stage for launch. The two RBSP spacecraft will remain inside the protective nose cone until they pass into the upper reaches of the atmosphere. As they achieve orbit, the top RBSP spacecraft will separate from its twin. The second probe will fly on its own a few minutes later. When the mission is complete, researchers hope to have a detailed study of the radiation belts surrounding this planet.